Oh, well, afternoon again. Um, back back on, on, on stage. Oh, yes, I need a microphone. Afternoon again. I'm back on stage. Um, so I'm going to try and do this with my glasses and a microphone and a controller at the same time. So I'm just going to do a quick introduction because Anne's going to go into detail about the success of our internship program um, really within network network engineering or focus on, on network engineering. But actually what we what we've we've tried over the last four or five years is quite a few different techniques to, to, to find skills that we can bring into the into, into the company and, and um, as with with all companies our size it's very difficult to try and try and hire the, the, the right people at the right time um, and and we're going to try and share you know some about some of our experiences and and success but you know if, if anyone in the room has also gone through this got some good contacts um, please do do uh, let Anne and I know because because uh, it is a it is a tricky thing that we're still trying to work our way through so you know what what is um, what is the problem that we're trying to we're trying to fix or trying to solve well over the last five years we 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 have found hiring um, increasingly difficult the areas that we we've really struggled with is security skills software skills and, and network engineering skills and uh, on the network engineering side it's a lot of it's around you know the the, the systems like root servers and and you can imagine um, the more complex parts of what an IXP have to deal with um, we, where, where we struggle struggle to find some so the, the option is if we obviously if we can't we can't hire. Uh, there, there isn't a big pool of, of people out there to hire. We go to agencies. I'm sure a lot of you you do the same. Um, we we have to pay for the agencies to find people for us, which we really don't like like having to do. Um, and the other one is we can hire in juniors and then try and train them up and and, and go through that process. But that can be uh, tricky finding the right people, and it can be tricky going through that 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 training process. And so we're going to share some of our experiences. On that, um, what have we done? We've we done internships, so we've taken some people straight from school. Uh, we've had some people that are in between gap years at university. Um, we've tried some offshore contracting, specifically around software resources, where we've gone to other countries where we can might maybe bring people in uh, on on slightly better rates. Um, and we just. Uh, started this year we're, we're, we're trying to uh, we signed up with an apprenticeship company and we're trying uh, one person on an apprenticeship scheme uh, to, to come through the, the process as well and and what we find is as I'm sure you do as well is is that gap where you've got somebody leaving college or university and and you want them to become a domain expert there's the, you know it, it, there's there's a huge gap between what what uh, what skills they come out of university or college with and what will we actually need within this industry within the IXP uh, industry so uh, so so we we started um, we've gone through this internship program and Anne's gonna Anne's gonna cover a lot of the the the, the what we what we went through that on on there but as I say if you uh, do do also please reach out to us if you've got any contacts especially around sort of um, we, the next thing that we might try is like working with universities on on joint programs and so so if you've got any contacts on that do do let me know that'd be fantastic otherwise over over to Anne Good afternoon again. Um, okay, since around uh, 2016, uh, we've had the occasional work experience student from GCSE level, um, A level, university level, for one to three weeks, weeks to help learn about links in the industry. Um, when we do that, we arrange sessions with different parts of the company um, and technology, including HR, sales, network engineering, software, security, product, and I guess marketing, since Jeremy's worked with them as well. Um, and they're also taken around Telehouse for a tour, um, which they've only read about in their coursework, so it generally helps them with their exams as well. And uh, sometimes they're involved in some other experiences. Um, this photo is from a podcast a recording that Sylvia and Hamna and myself did with Jeremy last year. Um, the students mostly come from local schools, um, though more recently they've come from Middlesdown Collegiate uh, from the Director of Computer Science, Isabel Singh, um, who if anyone remembers from last Link's meeting, um, she was on the panel with us. And I say South London, but it's actually Croydon. So we just hide that sometimes. <laughs> um, for the internships, uh, work experience students are invited, are invited to apply 
and they either work with network engineering or software um, or on a project that benefits links. Um, this could be a software project, which Ricardo has indicated he's happy to talk about at a future links meeting, um, or an engineering project that can range from a cable audit at Telehouse to writing scripts for the root servers, which Alex, who's back there, he would help me out with that a lot, um, or SQL reports. Um, here, Owen worked on a project auditing cables at Telehouse uh, the summer before last, and he, he was also sent to Wales one day to reboot a server when we didn't have anyone else available, which is quite exciting for him. Um, here's a few of our interns over the years. Um, Charlotte, who sees hiding um, in her hoodie, hiding during a Zoom meeting um, during COVID. Um, she was work experience with us, and, with, with us, and then she was an, a software intern. And she's now studying computer science at university. Um, there's Owen again um, on site. Um, he has a work experience, an intern for engineering, and he's studying at Southampton. And Daryl who was work experienced with engineering and came back as a software intern and is studying computer science as well. And then a picture of Sylvia, Alex, and Daniel in the office. Um, I'll mention them more in the following slide. But there's also a, a Be Real photo because they came to support uh, Isabel Singh last time and I learned all about Be Real that day. People don't know what that is. Benefits to links. Um, as Richard mentioned, we've studied with hiring um, the past few years, and this has helped with finding a new talent. It's helped with projects that engineers haven't had the time for, and that's been in our backlog for ages. And the students, they bring energy and a new perspective into the team. Um, it's also encouraging some young women in the industry as well, which is one thing to focus on. And it's cost effective and helps us build relationships for future potential employment at Lynx. And the benefits uh, to the students include, I've been told, bragging rights at school, um, real world experience, learning about the industry, and networking with industry professionals. Um, many set up their LinkedIn profiles and added us as work experience. Um, it's helped with university applications and uh, enjoying flex flexible working and helping with professional communication skills, with working with others in a professional environment, but also when they've written certain things for us, they've had to demo things for the team on engineering, and I'm, I'm assuming that with software would be the same thing. And um, of course, with all that, uh, developing their technical knowledge. And we've received some feedback uh, from a few of our interns. I mean, Alex, who I keep mentioning because he is back there, um, came as work experience and then came back as an intern. And then we took him on as a trainee NetOps engineer because he, he impressed us so much. And um, he has brought a lot to the team with his enthusiasm and he, quite bright and learns Python and all those things really quickly. So he's actually working a lot with, with Mo on bird um, things. And uh, he's going to go to is it the root server thing in a couple weeks with Mo. And so what did he say? He said, as interns, we built up lots of valuable industry knowledge and learned how to apply what we've been learning at school, mainly coding and software development principles. We also learned a lot more on the job. And then Daniel, who's worked with us as work experience, engineering and software intern, and he's pursuing a computer science MCOM degree. Um, he said, as an intern, I definitely cemented my practical coding skills and solidified a lot of theory working practically. I was able to take on projects, especially site work that I never would have done otherwise. And then Sylvia um, Jelena, who came as work experience and then came back as an intern for software last summer. And she, she's hoping to join us again. Um, but she's pursuing a mathematical computation MEng degree. And she said, as an intern for Lynx, I was able to gain real life exposure, grow my knowledge and determine if I am in the right career field. The internship provided me with firsthand experience in the real working world, but also enabled me to understand the career trajectory from my desired future job. And um, that's all I have. Is there any questions? Any questions for Anne? Oh, yes, we have one here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you just look at the where Link's website and sort of take it from there, is it? Should we sort of pass these around to so like uh, children and friends and so on and so forth? I mean, if you have, yeah, if you have anyone, just send them, send them through, yes. I mean, I've, I've 
One reason I've used um, Isabel Singh at Riddlesdown so much is because that is where my son went, and she impressed me because she'd call me and say he hasn't studied enough for his exam or whatever. So she was brilliant. So I've st I've just kind of stuck with them. But if there's if you have anybody, please send them through. Would you be interested yeah. in hearing from, say, um, universities who may be sourcing? Oh yes, research? definitely. We've had university students before as well. Okay. Yeah. Cool. cool. Yeah. Thank okay. you. Yeah. Another question. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I guess. Hi, um, Fergus Mackay, Flex Optics. Um, what about overseas nationals? I would think so, yeah, definitely. I mean, would links be able to facilitate them getting the necessary work permits? That would be the issue. Yes, we'd have to talk to Nina about that. Okay. <laughs> but we well, could still look into it if we have okay. to. Then I have a candidate for you. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Thank you. Any last oh. questions? Okay, thank you very much, Anne. Thank you.